Hey, what's going on? In yesterday's video, we talked about promoting your camps. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure and go watch that because this video will not make sense unless you completely understand promoting and, and how to do it and when to do it, okay? Right now, we wanna talk about, this is the number two problem that I see that coaches struggle with when they try to put together their camps. And this is something I ran into probably 15 times before I figured this out. But what I used to do is I would promote my camps. I'd get a lot of parents to tell me that they were coming. And I'd get really excited about putting on this camp. And the only way I allowed people to pay back then was they would uh, bring me cash or bring me checks. And they would physically bring that to me at the session. So I would get there early, I'd set up all the cones, I'm ready to go, and maybe 20% of the parents who said they were gonna come would actually show up. And some of those parents who actually showed up didn't even pay. So if we think about that, let's say, let's say I have a camp and there's 10 parents who tell me they're gonna be there. And let's say it's $100 for the camp. So in my head, I'm thinking I'm making $1,000. And I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to go do this camp. There's only 10 kids, $100 a kid. And because I allow people to pay in cash or checks at the field, there's nothing that is guaranteeing that they're gonna be there because Johnny could wake up sick that morning and he can't come. Or the parents have an obligation and they can't come to the session anymore. And it's easy for them because they didn't have to commit up front. They can just pay me when they get there. And I will tell you, 99.9% .9 of coaches run their camps that way and they lose a lot of money. And that happened to me over and over again. And if I had 10 parents that said they wouldn't come, maybe two or three would show up and those parents would pay. So I'm losing hundreds of dollars every time I do camps because I used to do it the way I thought was the right way, which is collect money at the fields, have people casually pay me, um, after the camp or before the camp and I became this guy that was just trying to collect money and that took my my mind away from the actual session that I wanted to deliver and it's really frustrating going out to the field expecting 10 kids to be there and then two were there and it just takes away from the whole camp because now you have to rethink your whole strategy of, of what your session look uh, should look like and instead of doing things old school the way that 99.9% .9 of coaches do it. You have to do it different. And this is what I'm known for. If, if you follow what I do on Instagram or read my newsletter or even watch these videos, I do things the opposite of how other coaches do it because I know if I follow the pack um, and a lot of coaches out there are not successful. They, they do things the wrong way. They're unorganized. Um, they, they're just not running their business efficiently. And I knew if I wanted to have a successful business, especially with camps, I had to do this in a different way. For me personally, I started doing everything online. This way, when I promote my camp, like I talked about in yesterday's video, after I promote it, I'm sending parents to an online registration form that's going to collect their name, phone number, email, and payment information. This way, I'm not allowing any kids to just show up unless their parents have registered online. And then once they register online, I can send them through a series of upsells where I can sell them additional things. That could be t-shirts, that could be extra training, that could be, I mean, that could be anything. Anything that's relevant to the customer. But having it set up online protects me as the coach because now I know if my goal is to have 10 kids there, once 10 sign up online, I'm gonna shut down the, the registration and I don't have to worry about getting money at the fields. I don't have to worry about people saying that they're gonna be there and then not show up. I don't have to worry about anything other than delivering the session, which should be the number one focus for you when you run any camp. It shouldn't be being the bookkeeper and trying to figure out who's coming, who's not coming at the last second. That's so stressful and ultimately lose a lot of money doing that, like I said. If this is something that you know you want help uh, with as far as creating a registration page or what that should look like, 
hit me up here um, on YouTube. Let me know, drop a comment below. I wanna help you out. This is something like I said in yesterday's video, I help coaches out with this every day. And if you wanna have successful camps, you have to start thinking differently about your business. You have to run it like a real business the way I'm talking about. And when you have that set up, you'll be able to scale your camps and because you'll have so much uh, better structure with how everything is set up. And when you have that set up, you're gonna want to do camps every week. The camp shouldn't just be this thing that you do in the summer or over winter break. This is something you can do all of the time if you have the pieces in place. Um, and a few of my clients I'm working with right now, that's what they do. They have a camp every single week. Um, and it runs on autopilot because all the marketing is set up, the promotion is set up, the payment pages are set up, the registration's on point, and I wanna help you with that. So if you need my help, reach out to me, comment below, I wanna help you out.